I first off want to say Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakao Kodash. That is to say, all praises to Yahweh by his name of Yahweh Shai, you know, through the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakao Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who continually feed us in this truth through that sp same spirit, Rakao Kodash, you know, double honors to the um, Salakia, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, honors to the brothers out there, you know, salutations, most love to the brothers out there who are teaching this word in all sincerity. You know, and in all truth, you know, this lesson is going to be just a, another quick lesson going into um, prophesying, right? Because um, that is our main profession. That is um, what we're there on the highways and the byways to do, to prophesy, right? So, you know, a lot of brothers get, um, and even many in our camps get distracted, you know, by other things, you know, for example, um, you know, the pretty garments, you know, having, um, you know, get togethers, you know, like um, cookouts and, 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 lavish passovers you know stuff like that you know and and yeah we, we have a good brotherhood you know and it's it's good to spend time with the brothers and gel with the brothers you know joking talking about you know whatever drink some yayan you know whatever it be but um let us not forget you know why we're doing this let us not forget that when we go out there in the highways and the byways our main goal is to prophesy right and prophesy by prophesy we mean what we mean speak the things that are written in the scriptures, especially of things that are about to come to pass. Because a prophet really is a spokesperson, right? An advocate, an ambassador, if you will, that speaks on behalf of somebody else. So when the brothers have to remember that when we go out there in the highways and the byways, when we do videos, sit downs, you know, whatever, we um we speak on behalf of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, right? Through the Holy Spirit. Right? So we have to bear that in mind, right? Praying to the Heavenly Father that we speak his words, you know. So we say, um, we, there, there's a prayer in Psalms, that is a very good prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, you know, my strength and my redeemer. Because we want to make sure that when we go out there in the highways and the byways, we are prophesying, indeed prophesying, according to the, um, the true meaning of the word. All right, so let's get into a few precepts to basically hit that point home. You know, hopefully this, this lesson will be edifying, you know, to the elect you know, who, whom we serve, right? As Paul said, we suffer all things, we endure all things for the elect's sake. This is Hebrew 10 and 23. It says, let, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful, that promise, right? What's the profession of our faith? Prophesying, you know, going out there in the highways and the byways, doing videos, you know, um, basically telling the nation of Israel and the other nations the things that are about to come to pass from our power, Yahweh. Right, to his son Yahweh Shai. Right, that's how they're doing, yo. So we prophesy of the um of World War Three, which is the third war, war according to Reve Revelation. We prophesy also of the mark of the beast, which we know to be the RFID microchip, you know, which we continually bring out, yo. We prophesy of the um the coming famine, the coming um martial law, civil unrest, you know, the coming mass destruction, the um the coming nuclear war. We prophesy of all these things, yo, and we also prophesy of the of the establishment of the kingdom of, of, of Israel, yo, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, right? Which will be on earth, you know, which the nation of Israel will be glorified, you know, through the elect. All the nation of Israel will be righteous. These are the things that we prophesy, which is basically what? The promise, right, made unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, that he would grant to his seed, which, is, which we are, right, you know, you niggers, Latinas, Native American, you know, we are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the inheritors of the promise, right? And that promise comes with what? With glorification, owning the Eden as our possession, owning their lands as a possession, being perfect and righteous in the sight of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? So that's our profession, you know, in a nutshell. It says, let us provoke one another, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works, right? So push one another, do videos, Exhort brothers to do videos, exhort brothers to pray, exhort brothers to fast, exhort brothers to stay in the spirit, exhort brothers to what? To prophesy. Right? So let's get into um the the, the, the meat of the matter. This is um first Corinthians fourteen. Uh let me see where I was though. Covid to prophesy. Lost it here. Sure, I had it. Lost it here. Ah, here we go. 
All right, this is on First Corinthians 14 and 39. It says, Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak in tongues. What does it mean by covet to prophesy? So let's look up that word covet, you know, and see what it means. So the word covet is the Greek word. Let me play it. Strong's G2206. Zelao. Zelao. Thayer's lexicon, related entry. Zeluo. Zeluo. Right. So it says to burn with zeal, right? And we brothers already know what zeal means, yo. Right? To be heated or to boil with envy, hatred, or anger, which that doesn't apply here. So we know, we, you know, we know through the Spirit what, what applies. That does apply here. In a good sense, this is where it applies. To be zealous in the pursuit of good. Right? So the Apostle um, El Tahar always says, yo, if you're not on fire for this truth, if you don't have a, a zealous desire to teach this word, then you're not in the right spirit. Right? Either you pray to the Heavenly Father, set your spirit on fire, or you leave this truth, yo. So in a good sense, to be zealous in this pursuit of good, to desire earnestly to pursue to desire one earnestly to strive after to busy oneself about him right so we have to busy ourselves with, with what with prophesying or with these prophecies to exert oneself for one that he may not be torn from me to be to be the object of zeal of others to be zealously sought after right so zealously zealously seal, seek after what after prophesying after doing this work yo right that's what we're supposed to be doing right First Timothy 4 and 14, it says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, right? With the laying on, on of hands of the presbytery, right? What's the gift that is in us, right? The gift that is in us is the gift to prophesy, right? This truth, this faith, right? Which is, a, which is what? Which is a form of spiritual power, yo. It is in us. So we can't, we can't neglect it, yo. We have to prophesy, right? So it says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, Right? With the laying on of hands of the presbytery. So even the fact that we are prophesying now in the highways and the byways, that is actually a fulfillment of prophecy as well. So us prophesying is actually fulfilling prophecies as well, yo. Right? Because the scriptures say what? Um, your young man shall prophesy, because uh, he will pour out his spirit upon us, yo. Right? And again, you know, we will stand up on a, a great exceeding army. Right? So um, it says, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting might, be appear, might appear to all. Take heed to thyself and to the doctrine, right? Continue in them, for in doing so, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So doing the work, right, is a, is a way of, of, um, of, of, um, of ensuring, not really ensuring, but um, a way of, of carving your path towards being a member of the elect, yo. Right? So, it, it, um, in, um, in, in 1 Peter 1, I believe, you know, it gives you the things that you're supposed to do, right, in order for you to not fail. A part of that is what is, is teaching, yo. Right? Taking heed to the doctrine and teaching so that you can save yourself through your works, which we know we're not saved by works. It's, re it's really by faith and by grace, Right, but through through that grace and the, and and that faith, right, you show it by going out there in the highways and the byways by doing videos, yo, right, and them that hear thee, right, because we hear the the, the apostles, we heard the apostles, and then we believed, and then we came and do uh, uh, and did the, the works. Others also will hear and believe, right, in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and also be delivered, right. So let's move on. This is Second Timothy two and verse one. Though therefore my son be strong in the grace of that is in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, that thou commit, that the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Right? So the apostles don't go on YouTube every day. Or didn't start going on YouTube every day so that you can learn it and sit on your ass, yo. Right? We don't go out and teach others, right? Or make videos so that everybody will just learn and hear and sit on their ass, yo. No, right? We commit to faithful men, right? Who will be also able to teach others also. So, so once you put on a garment and you say, yo, you're, you're, you're a prophet of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you have to know what that means, yo. That's the highest office that you can hold, right? In this kingdom, yo. Right? Being a representative of the, the creator of the cosmos, of the creator of the universe, yo. We are the ambassadors of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the, 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 um, the, 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 the power that moves through all things, yo. Right? So you have to take that seriously, yo. 
right? Meaning you have to do the job that you were called to do, which is what? Which is teach you, which is prophesy, right? Revelation 19 and 10, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. We've been bringing out this precept over and over, yo. Right? You say you have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, prophesy, yo. Prophesy, and prophesy rightly. Right? Don't prophesy of the things out of your own heart. Like, like they're going, we're going to have an Israelite community with, um, with Israelite schools and grocery shows and all these things. No. Prophesy rightly. Right? This is um, Revelation 12 and verse, so like, yeah, Romans 12 and verse 5 to 6. It says, So we, being many, are one in Yahweh Shai, and every one members of one and of another, having then gifts, deferring according to the grace that is given us, with the prophecy, let us prophesy according to pro the proportion of faith. Right? So once you call yourself a prophet of the highest, you put on that garment, you know, with that border of blue and those fringes, you go out there in the highways and the byways, and you say, I'll oh, praise to you, how about Shemi, how shy, and you start prophesying. Yeah, continue that, yo. Let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. If your faith is to do three videos a week, you do your three videos. If your faith is to do ten videos a week, three videos a day, whatever, right? You do according to the proportion of faith, yo. You prophesy, right? You go there to the children of Israel, whether, whether, whether virtually through the internet or whether physically on the highways and the byways, and you say, Thus say the, the, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, to you, children of Israel, and to you, nations, yo. Right? First Corinthians 14 and verse 1. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. That's the most important one, yo. Rather that ye may prophesy. Right? That's the most important spiritual gift to go out there and to prophesy. Yo. Why niggas want to run from it? Why some, some brothers in GMS or some brothers in other camps you know, want to run from it? I don't know. Right? But that's the greatest spiritual gift to prophesy. Yo. To know these prophecies right? and to go out there and to teach these prophecies. Yo. Right? What's the sense you know the prophecies right? and you, go, you don't go out there and teach yo? You don't go out there and say, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai says that this is going to happen so that when it does happen, right, the name of the Lord is glorified. That's the whole purpose of doing it, yo. Right? Bringing it out so that it's, it's to the glorification of Yahweh Yahweh Shai when it does happen, yo. Right? So basically, that was it. That was the last precept. So.